This Ultimate Fight event contains full contact action, graphic imagery, and blood that may not be suitable for some viewers. Que excelente novidade para Bozeman. Sem falar que os funcionários são muito amigáveis e com conhecimento. What are you two talking about? The new Brazilian cafe in town. You mean Oba? Yeah. So what is Akai anyway? <laughs> it's actually pronounced Açaí. And it's the world's number one superfruit. And Oba serves it in different ways with many toppings. They also have exotic Amazon juices and warm Brazilian bites as well. You should go to Oba to enjoy a taste of Brazil. It's, it's worth the trip. trip. Hi, my name is Alden Antonucci, owner and operator of Extreme Carpet Cleaning. We've been in the business for seven years. We have an amazing attention to detail. powerful equipment that's top-notch in the industry. We are IICRC certified and RX20 available when needed. We know convenience nowadays is priority. We welcome you to give us a call, send us a text, email, whatever is most convenient for you, even Facebook. Not only that, you don't need to be present during the carpet cleaning, but we offer same-day service. We go everywhere from Bozeman to Big Sky and we do it with a smile on our face. We at Extreme Carpet Cleaning would love to have your business and earn your trust.
is a mixed martial arts match. It's scheduled for three four-minute rounds, and it is sponsored by McKinley Motorsports and Jarvis Custom Builders. First, fighting out of the blue corner, he hails from Billings, Montana. Please welcome Robert Fitzgerald. And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, he hails from Bozeman, Montana. Please welcome Luke Archery. Right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back with bout number eight. Everyone, I am, I am excited for this fight. This is a classic boxer versus round fight. The Grindhouse is known especially for how great the jiu-jitsu with Will Grindhouse as their coach. But the, the, the same time, the hitman's coach, Ken Johnson's good boxer. Ken has done so many pro fights. That guy knows how to box. So this will be interesting to see. Oh yeah. Both fighters, you know they. they they want to go to what they're comfortable with, and we'll, we'll see. We'll see how it plays out in this fight. Yes, sir. Right now they're controlling him. Very good. But they just found his footing there. I think that was a slip. Oh, going for a slam! Oh, oh, nice slam! He might have a deep, a deep guillotine right now, but it looks like he's actually going to slip out of it. He's out. There is uh, there's times we have a hold where. You, uh, you can hold it and waste energy. Oh, yeah. Work. Like, the uh, guillotine's one of them. You can tell he let it go. He was a deep, and he let it go to preserve energy. The guillotine's one of those ones you got to let go if you don't have it. Say, uh, front kick, you know, to a low blow. Again, it happens. It happens, like, a lot. People underestimate how often it happens. Uh, you know, you, you get punched in the face and be fine. But unfortunately, it's just one of those things, you know. Uh, you got to be really safe about it, and you guys are back, though. Yeah, closing that distance again. He's not allowing them to strike. You know, yeah, that's he, smart. Absolutely. You don't want to box with a boxer. No, no. That's, it, it's a real quick way to get knocked out. Like, right. At the same time. The boxer is closing the distance, distance yeah. on the uh, on the wrestler. On the wrestler, yeah, on the jiu-jitsu guy. But knee, knee, knee to the thigh. Oh, oh takedown! He pulled out his own little wrestling right there. This this is a fight. We, yeah, it's a good. A right yeah, here. it's a good fight so far. Neither neither have given any inch. All right, and this is this is the spot they're in right now. It's it's uh he's brought on. Him. And it's, uh, it's an awkward place because he, he can rest on it. He can. Or he can take his back like he did, but there's a risk. And it looks like he's going for that rear naked choke. And like, like we talked about, that rear naked choke is so dangerous. It is so dangerous. But he can grab got out. He composed. He got out. He's done side control. No, half guard, rather. He's, he's trying to pat. Oh, full mount. Full mount. Let's see what he can do from here. So they've done that he's fighting a very good, very strong jiu-jitsu. He's, jiu he's got his own rear naked arm. And you can tell right now, that is that, is that practice jiu-jitsu right there. Got out of it right away. That muscle memory just takes on over. And they are back to their feet. Trying to take his back right there. He's got it. Sam does it. It looks like he has a very strong background. He tapped out. Oh, he tapped out. Wow. Nice choke. That you see the boxing gym tab out. The grappling. Yeah, but at the same time, you get caught. You get caught. You get caught, yeah. And like, like Ken is a good, well rounded fighter himself. He trains his fighters and everything. Exactly. I know, I know Ken, especially lately, has uh, been training a lot jiu jitsu as well. With, really trying to help all the fighters game. With actually, he's been training with the Grindhouse. Exactly, yeah. So it, That's two dangerous teams. Oh, yeah. That, that is uh, one of the best things about MMA. The, the upsets can happen no so matter many, what. So many anywhere. 
Anytime. Uh, disappointed about his loss. Ladies and gentlemen, at the same time, though, eight, showing respect. He ended like a champ. Yep. 54 seconds in the first round. Your winner by naked, rear naked choke. Fighting out of the red corner, Luke Buckley! Well, guys, show mutual respect. That's all about the sport. Yeah. Like I said, after you get out there, and give everything you had to give. Like, how can you be mad? How can you be? Oh yeah, I don't. I honestly don't understand the trash talking myself. I avoid it at all costs, but it sells tickets, I guess. It's true. Maybe I'm just not good at it, but at the yeah. same time, getting in someone's head, and it, it messes with your game. It really does. And some guys, Conor McGregor, Brandon, oh. uh, Dominic Cruz.